Okay, we are back everyone from our hike. We are gonna do the next segment of our test, which is going from Carl Sandburg home to um, Habitat for Humanity on West Washington Street in Hendersonville, North Carolina. Um, as you can see from here, it shows the arrow clearly, but the map data still wants to go the wrong direction. So we have to manually navigate out of here um, until we get onto the road. It'll be interesting once they release parking lots, which will I would expect to be next year, um, if that gets fixed. Like, how does it respond? Is it gonna override with the arrows, or is it gonna like you know backtrack and go the wrong way? Also, why did it reroute? <laughs> well, now I'm gonna have to go go this way manually. It it was routed the right way and decided to reroute itself for some reason. This is definitely the way I want to go this way. So that's just like, this is not, again, this is not a full self-driving issue. This is a problem with navigation. Like it should reroute here in a second. There it goes. Okay, because it's, that needs work. Like, I don't think that's gonna stop like full wide release of full self-driving, but that type of stuff, like it just needs to know where to go. If the car doesn't know where to go, then it's not, has it always been that way? I don't know why that looked different to me, everyone. I don't know why, but that turn worked great. Um, it could have went a little bit further left again in the lane, but this is no different than 69 that degree. Um, I'm comparing this directly to 69 that degree to see if there's really any differences. Because again, 69 that degree was great for me. I don't want to jinx this version, but 69.3 was the best version yet. And I really mean that when I say that. When I I try and be as, as authentic as possible. You know, of course, I have a little bit of bias versus day, like days I have a bad in a bad mood versus days I'm in a good mood. It'll uh, fluctuate uh, how I feel, but I try and be as objective as possible on these tests. And I'll tell you how it is. So what needs to happen? Like I see a red light up here. It needs to go ahead and slow down. Like it should. It should be already slowing down. And now it's just slowing down. Like to me, like while it's acceptable, I guess the way it worked and it worked out, it should still have been slowing down just slightly, um, f way further back. That that to me, I don't know if that's a camera limitation. Or if that's hard coded to be like, hey, don't slow down until you're this far away from the light or something. I don't, I'm not sure, but in my opinion, I am much more conservative on how soon I start slowing down for red lights. It's one to maximize efficiency, and two to maximize smoothness. And so my preference, these are things I will look for uh, improvements once you know where I'm so good that 99% of the drives are zero disengagement. We're gonna have to change our outlook to the intervictions and is things that improve the overall experience, you know? So it looks like we have a good entrance to this roundabout. Slow down too, ew. slow down a little bit too much, but otherwise good. Um, I'd rather have it smooth and slow instead of like going in hot and then breaking suddenly and then speeding back up. Like that's not good. I'd rather have it just go in slow and stay smooth all the way through instead of just like speeding in and then breaking and speeding up and breaking again. Like that is just really not great. Um, the first, this time it was, it was good. I still think it could go faster, it could be faster, but I think they're playing on the cautious side. Especially on the wide release, I really think they turn some knobs down for a wide release and make it a little bit more cautious than the more, um, you know, early release that 69 that hurry was. <laughs> Why it turned the blinker on, I'm not sure. <laughs> good going past those cones right there. Have a person on the sidewalk. I don't know if it was the person or the 
the cars, but it had this, it was a slight phantom brake. Like, you, you could tell it was there. And this car coming in, cut in front, my car didn't respond at all, which is great. And it didn't turn the blinker on there. You can see it made the, like, where I wanted to change lanes, but it didn't actually turn the blinker on, which is good. You could, you know, we're not changing lanes. Let's see right here, is it gonna, ooh. Ugh. Okay, still not great here, but, um, it did it. We're, we're halfway in the lane. This is accurate. Um, I don't, I don't like the fact that this is accurate because, um, cars have to stay a little bit further right and we're good to go right here. And it went, I'm not pressing the accelerator. Um, but, um, it's being very cautious in here. Again, I like this better than what it did in the previous versions. Not 69.3, but the, even before that, 69.2 even. Um, it would just speed up and jerk versus this stays slow and like more cautious uh, and then speeds up once it's like knows it's, it's good to go. I, I like that behavior much more. Now, eventually that's gonna get really annoying to me. Uh, when, as everything else gets better, I'm gonna be like, just go for it, like be more confident, like you're, you're good to go. Okay, I had to press the accelerator. <laughs> it went to go stop for the car coming, which actually it was turning, but it braked in the middle of the road. So I'm like, it, it didn't need the brake there. I was I was hoping this would be a first zero intervention drive on this one, but um, that was definitely an intervention, but this is by far the least amount of interventions I've had to do on this route um, since getting, getting it, getting the version. Like that was too much braking, but um, again, if it had the brake right there, it was much smoother. Like this was smoother getting into this lane. This car gonna mess it up. It go, it turns far too wide right here. I don't know why. Like if I had a trailer on, that'd be great. And that's how it should turn. But yeah, no, I don't know why it's turning so wide. So we are at our destination, zero disengagements on only one intervention. Uh, so we're going to start paying attention to interventions for sure. Um, I think they're closed today. Why are they closed? Anyways, we're going to go back out uh, after this and we'll go on to our next drive. And we're back, everyone. If you don't know about uh, the Habitat for Humanity Restore, I'm sure there must be... This must be national, right? Um, if you're doing any remodeling work on your home, always stop by um, every week. They always have new stuff. Uh, I'm doing some electrical work and I got electrical boxes for half, brand, brand new electrical boxes for half the price that I would get them at Lowe's. And some other small little things that save me probably, I don't know, $7 versus what I would have got at Lowe's. This is an example of parking lots. This truck I could see coming, but there's no way I'm certain if I had enabled full self driving, it would have, it would have just tried to, um, no, okay, it's, it's, Where's the ambulance and fire truck at? Or fire truck, rather. That was not. That was um not in disengagement because I um it, it went over the bump in the road and because it the it jerked the wheel and disengaged because it jerked the wheel. Um, though that being said, it definitely got very close to the edge of the road there. I'm gonna need to review this footage here. I c might change my mind. I don't know if you saw that squirrel up there. Uh, it just ran across the line. Got my ADHD little mind going on over here. <laughs> Literal squirrel. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, um, yeah, it's interesting. That was different. Clearly, there's something about starting full self driving right before it has to make a turn or more complex maneuver and just going straight that it just doesn't, it's, it's like not fully like booted up yet. It's like if you haven't had your coffee in the morning or something and it just seems to not, like it seems to make s mistakes or something. Like it doesn't do as well when you first start it. Now it did better, mind you, it did better than 69.3. Uh, Come on, squirrel, don't, don't you try it. I thought he was going to run in the road. Um, 
Okay, let's see how it does on this turn, and then we'll have to cancel navigation. So we'll just go straight. Overall pretty good, a little hesitant as normal, but overall pretty good. So we are just going straight here all the way down Main Street. Um, it seemed like it kind of paused for that yield sign right there. Interesting. Like it like paused to look if there is a car, a car, a person wanting to cross. So legally, I guess you're, if there's a person waiting to cross, I am supposed to stop. I have been guilty of not doing that in the past myself. The car has been guilty of not doing that in the past. Um, it should do that. Now there is a judgment factor. Is that person actually going to cross or are they just kind of standing there? Um, that's like an artificial intelligence type of thing. Oh man, <laughs> I would have personally pushed it through this light. Personally. Um, but, yeah, uh, but it's it's okay. It turned yellow at enough time that uh, we stopped appropriately. Interesting that it didn't speed up like that quickly. I don't know if it saw the cars up ahead or if it, because it had so many cars around that it's like it has better situational awareness and just didn't speed up. I'm like, that was really appropriate. There's no reason it needed to speed up to 20 mile an hour to catch up to these cars to go. I probably should have let this car through, um, but that's okay, I guess. Um, that's common courtesy. I probably would have stopped if I was driving and had to let that car through. Um, interesting, because it can't see. I, I'm pressing the accelerator to get it to go. Because it couldn't see, that's really interesting, everyone. Because it couldn't see to the left. Again, a limitation of the B-pillar. It, it was really, I at least I think that was what it was doing. It was really hesitant to get past that um, crosswalk because it couldn't tell if people were crossing the crosswalk from the left. That car is blocking the view. So that that's really intriguing. I think it was seriously waiting to tell if people were crossing the crosswalk before it decided to, decided to go. Got this car pulling out on the right. My car didn't really react, which is okay. I wouldn't have, I would just kept on going too. Um, it did decide to get up to speed this time, which it didn't really need to. And of course, got a red light, but it's totally fine. As long as it stays 20 mile an hour. There was a point, I'm pretty sure it had the speed limit as 30 miles an hour or something in here. And that is ridiculously too fast for Main Street. Um, especially with these curves. They literally, um, when I was a kid, Main Street used to be a straight road uh, with overhead lights. And they, re they remodeled the whole thing. And so it has these curves in the road purposely to slow people down. Uh, it, it's they purposely made it this way. It looks a lot better too, in my opinion. I, I, I like the looks of it better than when I was a kid. But um, yeah, it, it's by design to have these curbs in the road so people don't drive as fast. It works for sure. Um, but the car needs to like you know you know like 20 mile an hour is appropriate still. But it's still there's times where there, if there's enough people walking around. Maybe 15 mile an hour is a little bit more appropriate, even though the speed limit is 20. Let's see, the light is green. I'm probably not going to make it here. It's probably not going to let me go here. Yeah, it's kind of... Oh, well, we also got a yellow light. Interesting. Okay, so, again, it's not going to let me navigate into this parking lot. We need to get onto this road. Right now, the car will not... No matter how many times I try, will not let me go onto Edward Street. I didn't even know that, honestly, that was a name for that. It's not even really a road. It's a, it, the, there are two parking lots right here. And I need to get into this parking lot that's right here. But it's not going to let me. The only way I can get there is like by making like a point way out here. And I think it will automatically... I think that will work if I do it there. Yeah. See if it turns. Yeah, there we go. That's how it should work. But that should get me in the left lane. And then I'll obviously take over to get into the parking lot. Okay, how are we going to make this turn? Good, okay. So I think, actually, um, I think 
by law you're supposed to not cross lanes two lanes as you're turning correct me if i'm wrong that might vary based on the state i'm pretty sure at least in some states it's that way i'm not certain about north carolina regardless i what it did was really appropriate it did a compound maneuver very quickly and very um you know appropriately uh and that's what i want to see but that was the end of this drive so again that was uh, zero disengagements all the way through, same as 69 at 3. That one disengagement at the, at the beginning of the second part of this video, I am not counting because it be, because of the suspension, you know how the car rocks back and forth when you go over a bump? My hand got bumped with my, with my you can't really see my hand, like my knee is right below the steering wheel right here. And um, my hand bumped into that and you know grabbed the wheel and, and broke disengagement. So that's why that happened. Um, that being said, it was definitely too close to the curve for my comfort, and it should have stayed a little bit further left. Um, but it was fine. It obviously didn't curve the wheels. Um, otherwise, this is good for... Uh, it needs to go wider. I think this is great. Um, not is not great enough for everyone to have it yet. That is the, that is the key difference. I think for everyone, I think that's v version 11, and maybe a couple point releases after that. Um, this is not... Like, for anyone that just doesn't pay attention, this is not there yet. For the people who pay attention, who are actually courteous and, like, are good drivers, this is ready. Send it to more people. I'm happy. Hope you're happy, too. Hope to see you in the next video, everyone. Thanks for watching.